guys, it's Amaya. Welcome back. Today we're going to be redoing my bedroom and giving it a complete makeover. I was going to do this a month ago. I could not get my bed to sell and I'm finally selling it. It finally got picked up and it's getting out of here. So I want to make this a room that is perfect for creating the content I want to make, but also cozy and comfortable and everything. I want it to be the colors, the vibe, all of it. Let's get started on this room. Real quick though, here's the current state of how everything looks. This is the last time my room will look like this. It's super messy, but we can't care about that right now. I'm gonna miss this little wall though. This was so cute. I'm probably definitely gonna keep some of the stuff up for sure. I really like this too. I'm probably gonna move it somewhere else. Yeah, man. End of an era. Not to mention that that's one of the most viewed videos on my channel. And it's sad to see it go because it did so well. But at the same time, it's like, if it don't work, it don't work. These little Velcro things I used to hold up the wires Horrible to get off. My nails, pain. Just all pain. Look how many little stickies I used. I literally had to cut up all of these. It's time. I don't even remember what I was doing yesterday, but it was nothing productive in this room. And now it's Saturday. It's time for this bed to get taken down and shipped off. It's two o'clock right now. The people are coming. They're supposed to be here at five to grab it. It's almost like a tradition at this point for me to be moving this bed by myself which is what I'm about to do right now. I've been in the gym, finally get in the gym or whatever. It's been three days, so. My main goals for today is to obviously get the bed taken down, get it sold, get it gone. Then I also want to finish taking down shelves, pegboard, and fill all the holes with this. I wanna go pick up the paint samples to try. And then I wanna tape ceiling, the floor. So let me start on this bed. I feel so bad. He's asleep on the bed and I have to move him. Buddy, I'm sorry, buddy. You're not supposed to be on my pillow anyways. Oh, no, no, no. Soup. to peel the paint buddy excuse me thank you i'm not expecting it to be perfect i already know i'm gonna have to touch up the white but it's whatever
It's leaning. It's definitely leaning. <laughs> Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Oh! This is the wrong one. Bruh. Why did they use the same picture for that? Y'all got that one. Okay, I'm just popping in real quick because at this point of the video, I have just been recording myself build a whole bunch of stuff over the past month to month and a half. So let me catch you up on everything that's happened just so you're not confused by these next few clips. So I did have that first Amazon bulk order. Here's a list of everything that I did end up returning because I showed me unboxing everything, but I don't know if I put that I returned it or not. So the two double curtain rods, those went back. The two blackout curtains and they were two different colors because I wanted to test one of each out. Those both were returned and the LED rope lights. So I did put up the original LED lights. I let it sit for a few days and I cannot get it to where I wanted it to be. Like I let it sit, but I would also rearrange it and try to tweak it. I would always just turn around and look at it and just not be happy with what I was seeing. It literally just held me up for like a week almost. That and the curtains not working out. I was so confused on what to do. Cause in my mind, I'm like, this is what we're doing. This is how it's gonna look and it looks so good. It gets here and it didn't meet my expectations. I changed my mind from wanting to do blackout curtains because it was just too bulky, too much going on, and I couldn't find a color that would match. I did end up returning those, getting the regular single bar curtain rods, and I kept the original sheer curtains. It was so much going on when I was doing all that that I barely have nothing but one crusty screenshot of how it looked. I'll put it up. The only reason I had that is because I last minute filmed another vlog 
and it was in the background looking crusty so I screenshotted it from that. So one thing I wanted to change in here was the direction of my bed. So I did do that. I switched it from being flat against the wall where you look at the door. I turned it 90 degrees and pushed it to the windows. I was a little worried about it being flush with the curtains and everything but I actually really love it. Like it's all flowing together way better than I could have imagined. And this is just like version one, a base model. Like I can still, I still have a lot of opportunity to update it however I want. So from this point forward, I pretty much am going to continue putting together the rest of my last minute purchases and a bed and everything. So have fun with the rest of the video. I will see y'all at the end. big oh no <laughs> I thought it was gonna be way smaller than that <laughs> it's like so devious
lot of water under the bridge. Some of the old songs. This is so yes, cute. Okay, so the time for me to reveal the almost final state of my room is finally here. I just want to make a note that it is about 90-95% done, but that last little bit that I'm going to add to the room is something that'll happen over the course of the next few weeks and I don't want to wait for that to be done to post this video. So keep up with my future vlogs because I plan to update, upgrade certain areas in those vlogs. But the state of it right now, y'all, I'm obsessed. To think all of this happened because of an Instagram ad, and not even just a regular Instagram ad, an Instagram stories ad. Like, I would not be looking at all of this if I didn't see it. Like, what? But I think you're like, bro, stop yapping and show us the final product. For those who just slid all the way to the end of the video to see the final product, let's refresh your memory on how it looked before. And you can also always go back and watch that video if you want to. The contrast is crazy. This is completely different from what I had before. And here's how it looks right now. Okay, so now that we have seen the final reveal, I'm gonna do a quick little tour. I'll let you know where I got a few of these things from and also a few of the future plans I have for the space. And if there's something I missed, let me know and I'll let you know in the comments, but yeah. Okay, so starting when you first walk in, we have this bookshelf. Y'all saw me put this together. This was literally a last minute purchase and shout out Walmart. They got this shit delivered in two days. But a lot of this stuff is old stuff that will be eventually traded out for books in all that, but I can't just go buy a billion books right now. Like I'm gonna slowly build my collection. So we have candles. I get a lot of my candles from Target and Marshalls slash Home Goods. Put my switch in the middle. I have my little sunset lamp. I still don't know where I wanna put this. I kinda just threw it right there for now as beaming onto this area. And it's a little unsteady. So I need to find something sticky to either attach it wherever I end up putting it and fasten it down. I have my Sonos speaker over here. Over here I have my little fake plant from Home Goods. I think I literally found it in the checkout lane. That's how they always get you in the checkout lane bro. Like they got me for sure. But it was cute and it, I love the way it like just falls. Up here I have my little cloud LED light thing. I keep some skincare and everything in that bin. I just have my little perfume sticks and lighter and some crystals down here. I literally found that in my closet. If it's BT21, they're gonna get me. I literally just bought some BT21 ramen the other day and it was pretty good. Just a bunch of random notebooks and all that kind of stuff in this pile. And then I made this back when Among Us popped off. So it literally says in the back. Maya was not the imposter. And I, I just didn't want to throw it away because I literally like paper mache, um, newspaper, um, cardboard, like hot glued it together and then paper mache something, like dipped it in milk, was it milk? I don't know what I dipped it in and like put it together. Whatever it was, this was literally how I would dress my character too. The orange or the yellow with the red beanie. Down here I have my Wiley mirror. It's like an LED mirror, I don't use it a lot, but I figured I'd put it right there or whenever I need it and to just fill the space. Down there, I just have some glasses tucked down in the back because I didn't know where to put it. <laughs> Over here, I have a couple of books, a couple of language learning books and a little beginner's keyboard self-teaching thing that I still have not used. Up top, I have another fake plant from before. I have my glasses in here and then just one of those unscented Target candles. Up here, I have my little Zane Funko Pop. Y'all, I ordered this like two years ago and found it randomly in a drawer. Um, so it's cute. I'm gonna leave it right there. And then another candle from Home Goods in my little squid uh, plush thing. I don't even know what these things are called, bro. Some more hair care stuff in this bin. I have nail care and some of my dog stuff in there. And then my switch controller, another yellow little squid thing. And then is it an octopus? One, two, three. It might be an octopus. And then my Wave to Earth album back there. And then my trash. So 
You first walk in and you see this. My plans for the future right here is to put a TV. Maybe, I did, I'm not really a TV in the room kind of person, but I might become the person, okay? So from here, we have my closet. We don't speak about that area right now because it's a mess. And then we have my desk. I kind of just like throw this together because it doesn't have to be perfect. Like I'm gonna be living in this area. So I usually wrap this around me when I get cold and then I have my little heart pillow. The throw is from Home Goods. The pillow is from Amazon. The chair is from Amazon. The best feature is like it literally turns into like a layback chair. The naps be going crazy in this chair. I'm being so serious. You just tuck it back in. Don't look at all my cables back there because we gonna figure that out at another time. <laughs> my desk is also from Amazon. I really love how it has the handles on the side. I just put my purse over here and it gets super tall. But yeah, I don't even use it at full height like this, but if I needed to, like just stand up and just, uh, just get some work done. That's fire. So it does have the little preset options. I've got it set to the highest, the lowest, and then like a medium so that I can sit with my legs bent up on this chair and they won't hit it pretty much. So a lot of the stuff on my desk is repurposed from my old desk. I have my lamp from Target. I did purchase a five minute journal. I have my little bear Apple watch holder right here and charger. And then I think I got these from Amazon too. I got this little monitor razor thing from Amazon along with the one that's under my laptop to angle it upwards, it's like that. And then it's worth mentioning that my case is from Case Defy, like a little white flower moment. It's cute, matches the room. This is from Amazon, this is from Amazon, this is from Amazon. This is Apple, but I ordered it off of Amazon. I ordered my new Hydro Flask off of Amazon. <laughs> yeah, this is a problem, bro. I got this from Amazon. I got the iPad holder from Ikea. And then this is the old, old side desk that I used like three room transformations ago. <laughs> And then I have this little cute lamp. Let me turn it on. I've been seeing these go around for a little while and I had no interest in it until I was like fully committing to the all white theme. Something I need to do later on is upgrade these little things. And then this has USB, USB-C import options or whatever. So I can just plug right into it instead of using a block since Apple don't want to sell blocks no more, but we can move on from that. So one way I plan to upgrade this area is to eventually add shelving and then posters. I am enjoying the clean like look right now, like nothing on the walls, but that's just because I don't know what I'm gonna commit to yet. So I don't know if I need to get a really long shelf or reuse my old shelves or I don't know. I do plan to add some stuff to the walls and some shelving and stuff. So this area will definitely be updated in a future vlog. So moving from the desk over, we have my curtains. I just have some sheer curtains on a single white curtain rod. Nothing too crazy. I do need to rip these tags off, but I do want to put some blackout blinds that I didn't even know were a thing and switch out those ones so that I can fully darken the room during the day if I need to. From the curtains down, we have my bed. Talk about complete opposite from what I had before. I literally had that huge bed, tall headboard, a billion pillows, which are all sitting behind that mirror because I don't know what to do with them yet. So we have my bed. I think this is called a Polly and Bark Genoa bed. If I'm not mistaken, I'm not even sure. Everything's gonna be in the description. I have my pillow. The pillowcase was a gift. I don't know where that's from. And then I have my little BT21 Shooky. And then I have another throw from Home Goods. My comforter is from Target. My sheets are also from Home Goods. And then above the bed, I have my LED rope lights. It was different. I've changed it a couple of times. And then the other night it literally popped and broke hold. So now I'm just leaving it like this cause I kind of like it that way. And I'm too scared to commit to drilling cause it did come with screws to keep it from popping. I love how many features this thing has. It just has so many options. Like that's so cute. This one's called the ripple. There's preset like holiday themes. So there's Christmas, Halloween, Valentine's Day, birthday, I didn't even see this one. And you can choose like your own layout if you want. Anyways though, so from here, moving over, I have my mirror. Pay less attention to the crusty edges. I tried to do contact paper to make it white because it's originally gold. It's the old mirror I had from my first bedroom transformation. And long story short, it just did not work out. Like, ew. Like it's literally coming undone right here. 
So yeah, and you can see the gold peeking out. <laughs> then I have my little slippers down here that I'm about to put on right now. So that is everything I have done for this room transformation. I am super happy with how it turned out. Let me know what you think in the comments. Do you like this version of my room better or the old one? Let me know. Thank you so much for sticking with me throughout the entire video. Maybe, maybe you just skipped the end, I don't know. But thanks for watching. If you wanna see more from me, you can subscribe or watch a recent video up top. And if you wanna follow me on Instagram, you can at Amaya Lake. Thanks again so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.